Okay, today we're going to take a look at L'Hopital's rule. All right, and before we do this, we need to um, go back and re-talk about some of our indeterminate forms. All right, we have worked a lot with 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity of those being indeterminate forms. Um, there are other ones like 0 times infinity, that's um, indeterminate form, 1 raised to the infinity, 0 raised to the 0, and then infinity minus infinity. All right, so all of those forms are indeterminate forms. All right, but the ones that we're going to focus on here um, are for L'Hopital's rule is when we have a quotient going on. So those are going to be the ones that we're going to be using directly with L'Hopital's rule. All right, so I do have a formal definition for L'Hopital's rule here. Um, we're going to let f and g be continuous functions that are differentiable on the open interval from a to b containing c, um, except possibly at c itself. All right, we are going to assume that g prime of x um, does not equal zero for all the x in that open interval from a to b, except possibly at c itself. All right, now, if the limit as x approaches c of f of x over g of x produces an indeterminate form, all right, so one of these, like zero over zero, infinity over infinity, all right, then you can throw a bunch of negatives in there as well, negative infinity over infinity, negative infinity over negative infinity, all right, any of those, then we will be taking the limit as x approaches c of f of x over g of x, and we're going to say that that is equal to, by applying L'Hopital's rule, the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x over g prime of x, uh, provided that the limit on the right exists or is infinite. Okay, so basically, all right, we've got a quotient, and we plug in, do a direct substitution, we plug in and get an indeterminate form that is of this quotient. Then we take the derivative of the top, take the derivative of the bottom, and then take the limit again, and hopefully that's going to help. Okay, now this is a, this definition is for, set up for as x approaches c, a constant. All right, however, you can apply it for when the limit um, is approaching infinity as well. The exact same thing applies. So it doesn't have to be a constant. It can be infinity as well. All right, now let's uh, take a look at a couple of straightforward examples here and see how this is going to work. All right, um, to begin with here, I am going to show the direct substitution. All right, eventually you'll get to the place where you're doing that in your head and you're determining the indeterminate form. But I've got the limit as x approaches 0 of e to the 2x minus 1 all over x. All right, so um, just about any way you want to do it here, let's uh, kind of show our indeterminate, our direct substitution mark like this. I'll do it in red. All right, as so I plug zero in, then um, I would the limit goes away because I'm doing a direct substitution. So then I'm just going to have an e to the two times zero minus one all over zero. Okay, anything raised to the zero power there, two times zero is zero. All right, it's going to be one. So I'm going to have a one minus one over zero and then that is our zero over zero. So it really does give us the direct substitution. So then that didn't work. So now we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so um, I'm going to show all the work here to begin with and eventually you'll, you'll drop some of this, but you're still going to have the limit as x approaches zero. Okay, I am going to, here, this is me applying L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so that we know what we're doing here. Okay, um, so I need to take the derivative of the top, I need to take the derivative of the bottom, and I'm going to use ddx notation to begin with, all right, until we get used to it. So ddx of e to the 2x minus 1, and then the derivative ddx of x. Okay, now notice I still have my limit there because I've not taken the limit. I'm just applying L'Hopital's rule, which says I can take the derivative of both of those. All right, so then if I go ahead and do that, um, the limit as x approaches 0. Okay, so the derivative up there on the top, derivative of e to the u, e to the u, u prime. All right, so that's going to give me a 2e to the 2x. Okay, derivative of 1 there is going to go 0, so I'm not going to have anything there. All right, over the derivative of x is 1. Okay, now I have applied L'Hopital's rule, and now this is my limit. Okay, so then um, I could even rewrite one more time and get rid of that over 1. All right, so the limit as x approaches 0 of 2e to the 2x. There we go, that cleans it up a little bit. All right, so now I'm ready to go back to a direct substitution and see if this L'Hopital's rules has helped. As x approaches 0, I'm going to directly substitute that in. So I'll have 2 times e 
to the 2 times 0. Well, anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so I've got 2 times 1, or 2. All right, so applying L'Hopital's rule one time helped. Okay, got me a limit of 2. All right, let's do another example over here. Um, this time let's do it as x approaches infinity because it works going either way. All right, so let's go ahead and, and actually write out that direct substitution first time to make sure that we can do L'Hopital's rule here. All right, so direct substitution. I'm going to put infinity in, so then I'm going to go the natural log of infinity all over infinity. Okay, now it might be a little bit hard just looking at the natural log of infinity to find out, well, what is that really approaching? All right, so if you need to, in your calculator, put natural log of x, all right, go to your table of values, and then let x get really, really, really large, like x is approaching infinity, and then just see what that table of values gives you. All right, it is going to indicate to you that it is going to infinity. All right, but like to begin with, always it's hard to see. So use that table of values on that calculator, okay? So then now I have infinity over infinity, all right, L'Hopital's rule, okay? So let's have a limit as x approaches infinity. All right, I'm going to do the ddx of the natural log of x. I'm going to take the derivative of the top and ddx of x, all right? And so from here to here, I'm doing... L'Hopital's rule. Okay, all right, um, and eventually, like I said, maybe in the next example or so, I may stop doing that ddx notation because you'll get used to what you're doing here. Okay, so I'm going to do the derivative. Now, this limit must stay because I'm not taking the limit. All I'm doing is the derivatives. All right, derivative of um, natural log of x is going to be u prime over u, or in other words, 1 over x. All right, all over one. All right, because the derivative of x is one there. All right, cleaning that up just a little bit here, we're going to have the limit as x approaches infinity of one over x. All right, now let's go back to a direct substitution. All right, because hopefully doing L'Hopital's rule is going to help here. All right, as x approaches infinity, all right, I'm going to have one over infinity, basically. It's approaching infinity. It's getting really, 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 really big. All right, and Hopefully you realize that that goes to zero. All right, but here again, if not, you could, if you had to, put one over x in your calculator, and then uh, you know watch your table of values. Let x approach infinity, get really, really, really big, and then you're going to realize that that goes to zero. Okay, so applying L'Hopital's rule one time on both of those helped. Okay, now you may apply L'Hopital's rule more than once. Okay, and um, because if you apply it the first time and you still have an indeterminate form, then you got to do it again. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Um, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x squared over e to the negative x. All right, so I'm going to do my direct substitution here first. So I'm going to have a negative infinity squared over an e to the negative times negative infinity there. Okay, all right, now hopefully you realize that negative times a negative, negative squared will give you a positive. All right, and if I've got a really big number and I'm squaring a really big number, it's going to give me a really big number. So I'm going to have a positive infinity right there. All right, that negative times a negative um, is going to make that positive. So really I've got a constant raised to a really, really big number. It keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which again, then that makes that whole bottom there be infinity. So yes, I have an indeterminate form. So I've got to apply L'Hopital's rule. The limit as x approaches negative infinity. And I do want to keep track of how many times I'm doing it this time. So L'Hopital's rule, okay, first time I'm doing it. All right, now let's try to drop that d dx notation. Derivative of x squared is going to be a 2x. All right, now derivative of e to the negative x, e to the u, u prime. So it's going to put a negative out in front, so it'll be a negative e to the negative x. Okay, all right, now I want to try a direct substitution and see if it helped. So on this one, I'm going to be taking 2 times negative infinity in the numerator, and here I'm going to be doing a negative 1 times an e, all right, to the negative infinity, but I've already got a negative there, so a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. Okay, so now Ne this is going to be a really big number. It's going to infinity, but it's got the negative sign in front of it, so I'm going to get a negative infinity there. 
All right, a negative infinity times 2, just going to get that much bigger, but it'll be a negative infinity. Okay, so negative infinity over negative infinity, doing L'Hopital's work, uh, L'Hopital's rule one time did not help. So that means let's try it again. The limit as x approaches negative infinity. All right, um, derivative again, without putting the work in there, derivative of 2x is 2. All right, now derivative of negative e to the negative x. So I'm going to have e to the u, u prime. All right, that u prime will be a negative. So negative times a negative that's already out there in front is going to give me an e, and then to the negative x right there. All right, so there's my L'Hopital's rule again, a second time. All right, now let's do a direct substitution, see if this helps. All right, so I have two on top, and then on the bottom, e to the negative, negative infinity. All right, negative times negative is positive, so two to the e raised to the negative, two over e to the negative infinity. This is going really, really big. That's going to go to infinity. So 2 over infinity, it really doesn't make any difference. Anything over something that's approaching infinity, getting really, really large, is then going to go to 0. Okay, I've got one last special note here on L'Hopital's rule. All right, if you get any um, other of indeterminate form, like maybe 0 times infinity, or 1 raised to the infinity, 0 raised to the 0, or infinity minus infinity, all right, these indeterminate forms, um, you can't use L'Hopital's rule on because they're not quotients. However, they are indeterminate forms. All right, so if you can take your um, algebraic expression that's inside your limit and rewrite it so that it will produce a 0 over 0 or an infinity over infinity, all right, then you can actually apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so that's what I kind of want to show in this example. We've got uh, one last example here. The limit as x approaches infinity of e to the negative x um, square root of x. Okay, so I'm going to first do a direct substitution, all right, to see what this is going to get me here. So I'm going to uh, be plugging in infinity here. So I will have e to the negative infinity times the square root of infinity. All right, so this right here, all right, that's going to approach zero. All right, um, if you need to see it, um, e to the negative infinity, I could rewrite as let's do it over here, 1 over e to the infinity. All right, well, e to the infinity is getting really, really big. 1 over something getting really, really big goes to 0. So this side is 0. Square root of a really big number is still just going to give us a really big number. Okay, so 0 times infinity. All right, but since it's not a quotient, I can't do L'Hopital's rule. But I know that I can't just do a direct substitution. It's not working. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to rewrite. Now this one, the rewrite is somewhat simple on because I've got an e to the negative x. All right, laws of exponents is going to allow me to bring that to the denominator and make it positive. So I'm going to go the limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of x all over e to the x. All right, so in that step, I'm rewriting. Okay, that's the only thing I did. I just did a rewrite there. Okay, now that I've rewrote it, I have a quotient. All right, so now I'm going to, and I, and I could do the direct substitution again here. All right, that's going to go to infinity, and then e to the infinity, a constant to an infinity is going to get really, really big. So I do have infinity over infinity now. Okay, so now I can um, apply L'Hopital's rule. So then the limit as x approaches infinity. Okay, uh, L'Hopital's rule, this would be x to the one-half, so if I took the derivative there, I'd have a one-half x to the minus one-half all over, and e to the x um, is going to be just e to the x for my derivative there. Okay, so here I did L'Hopital's rule. All right, now I'm on L'Hopital's rule. Um, let's uh, do a little bit of algebra cleaning this up here. So the limit as x approaches infinity I could write that as 1 over 2 times the square root of x over e to the x. Okay, that's a little bit better, but now I've caused a, a complex fraction. Multiply through by the least common denominator. That'll make that and that go away so I can get rid of that. So then I'm going to have the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over um, 2 e to the x square root of x if I want to clean it up that much. Okay, now let's try our direct substitution now that I've applied this uh, L'Hopital's rule. So then 1 over, I'm going to have 2 times an e to the infinity 
times the square root of whoops, infinity. Got to do the direct substitution. So this is getting really, really big. This is really, really big. That denominator is getting really, really big. So uh, 1 over anything that's approaching infinity getting really, really big there then is going to go to 0. All right, so just a, an example of if you encounter uh, some type of limit that does not uh, lend itself to L'Hopital's rule, maybe it's one of these other forms, rewrite that into a quotient so then hopefully L'Hopital's rule will help you. Thanks for watching.